Okay, the race is now on. I'm shaking so much. Oh my god. Yeah! Twenty, the hardest. That's all. One hundred and ten achievements done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I thought I was gonna give up. I thought like I gave up for multiple times. This was ridiculously hard. This and this made me want to cry. Like these were the last two achievements before the big one I just got. Cause. There's just never lightning. It was literally the last thing. Like I got like as soon as I finished and was waiting for lightning, the lightning decided to s start. So thank God for that. This was a pain. I actually gave up on this. I was giving up when I um, was trying to do this achievement. And I actually gave up on the last biome. I, I was, it was so hard. I, I didn't know what to do. This is ridiculous, this achievement. And I wanted to cry doing this. This was so painful. The ocelot was ridiculous. Oh my God. What up? I'm going to be explaining how difficult this is and what exactly is going on because it's crazy. Before doing the execution, I had to kill a pillager which would give me bad omen and then use a bad omen to start a raid and get hero of the village and then I had to kill another pillager so I had both hero of the village and bad omen at the exact same time. Then I had to go to an ocean monument and at the bottom of an ocean there was a boss that would give you mining fatigue. This effect would only last 5 minutes so I had to run to the setup and start the execution. The wool was there to make sure that the warden doesn't spawn because he is ridiculously overpowered and can easily kill you in seconds. I didn't realize how strong the mining fatigue was so I had to come up with something quick and I came up with burning the whole place down, opening the spawner. Nothing is going to plan so I'm panicking and drinking all the potions getting all the effects I can before it's too late. The execution has to be in the deep dark biome where the warden spawns. You need the warden to get darkness, so everything is moved to this location. I have all five beacons fully charged up in front of me, cutting through the mountain, powered up. The luxurious pool in front of me is really important for multiple effects. We have the conduit in front of us to get that extra effect. My hotbar glitched out and even though the bottle is empty, I didn't have the effect, so I had to click on the bottle to update the item and then drink the potion again. I jump in the water making sure it has a strong grip on me. 
TNT blocks have zero durability, so you can break them with mining fatigue. Breaking these blocks makes a lot of noise, spawning in the warden, and it reveals a shulker box. You have to take the shulker box from the end city, through a portal into the end island, through another portal into the overworld, through another portal into the nether, through another portal back into the overworld underground where the warden is, which can take up to like six hours because they can die easily. The shulker hits me, giving me levitation, which lasts seven seconds. I eat the pufferfish, which makes my vision swell and spin, and it gives me hunger and nausea. I flip a lever, shooting a spectral arrow into my body, giving me another effect that lasts seven seconds. Now, before I drink this suspicious stew, I need to make sure to go down into the water and go into a swimming state to get the dolphin effect. This effect only lasts like four seconds, and I had to drag a dolphin from the ocean, from the very top of the game, into the deep dark at the bottom of the game. And now I eat the suspicious stew to get blindness. For some reason you can't swim when you're blind, and so if you do the stew first, then you can't get the dolphin effect because you can't swim. And now I eat the golden apple to get an extra two hearts for another effect. I eat this so late because if you lose those two hearts, then you lose the effect, which means you won't get the achievement. At this point, all of my effects are one or two seconds left, and they're all about to die off, and all I have to do is place the wither rose to get the last wither effect to get the achievement, and bam. The rose only lasts one second, so it has to be right at the end. I have no idea how a child is going to do this. I'm going to sleep for three days now. Good night. 